Bless you. Thank you so much. Well, I don't think we've had that sort of energy in the studio since... Well, it was since what? I, like, I think, like, since One Direction, man. <laughs> One Direction, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm, happy, I'm, so, I'm so happy to see Joel McHale. Yeah. I think we're all like we went, we went through a stage. We went through a stage where Joel McHale was here a lot and then the pandemic happened. This is the first time he's been here in such a long time and he is just the loveliest man. That's, that's who the crowd is screaming for, Correct. right? Correct. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's that time. It's time for the news. some big weather-related news from right here in Los Angeles. Over the weekend, Southern California experienced massive winter storms with the Hollywood sign even getting a light dusting of snow. Look at that. It looks like everyone in Hollywood sneezed at the same time. <laughs> All the people in Malibu were like, oh, my God, I just had the most amazing cold plunge. <laughs> You know what is a shame? Like, you're from London. Yeah. I'm from Oregon. Yeah. These are both very cold, rainy places. For sure. And we've been here in L.A. for, like, about a decade each. Yeah. And I have completely lost any ability to deal with it. It's, it's pitiful. But it's your blood. Your blood. Your blood warms up. That's what it is. It's what it, but it was, like, it was like 54 degrees, which in Oregon would be the nicest day until July. Yeah. In Oregon, you're like, where's my shades? Yeah. Has anyone got my shades? I, yeah. Here, I'm, like, looking for a St. Bernard with, like, whiskey around his neck. <laughs> Moving on, new intelligence has prompted the Energy Department to conclude that the coronavirus pandemic was most likely caused by an accidental lab leak in China. When reached for comment, China was like, do you remember that silly balloon? What even was that? <laughs> Let's talk about that balloon some more. <laughs> this is true. The conclusion was made with, quote, low confidence. The conclusion had low confidence, but I honestly, once the queer eye guys get a hold of it, <laughs> give it a new haircut, teach it how to make guacamole, <laughs> be a whole new conclusion. You just wait. <laughs> and did you see this? Over the weekend, Mexico's president posted a photo on social media claiming, and he does not appear to be joking, claiming that the photo was proof of a mythical woodland elf. Here's the photo he posted, right? And look at that. Definitely a mythical elf. <laughs> it couldn't be anything else. I will say, I'm not mad. This is exactly what I think politicians should be doing. Like, I don't want... <laughs> I need Joe Biden always talking about inflation. Like, I want him using the CIA, CIA to find Bigfoot. <laughs> also, why do we need to report this? Christmas is over. Elves... <laughs> as far as I can work out, elves are off now till around Halloween. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and not only that, but I think it's it's insulting to all Jawas, you know, because I think it's definitely more Jawa than it is elf. What is the difference between a Jawa and an elf? Uh, about like like forty six percent difference. <laughs> oh, that's a Jawa. Okay. See. Can can we have like a like a like a, a global congress on what an elf is? You know what I mean? Because, like, yes. sometimes you look at Lord of the Rings, elves are, like, these tall, Nordic, you know, Orlando Bloom-looking dudes. And then, like... <laughs> and then sometimes elves are the guys, like, tiny little dudes who, like, look like Paul oh, Giamatti and yeah. live in a tree and make cookies. <laughs> and it's like, what, what's an elf? I think this is a very good point. Yeah. yeah. I think this is a very good point. Nice. I don't know what... Is that an elf? That, that's, that's a dilf. That's... <laughs> I will say, are they elves in Lord of the Rings? Yeah, those are elves. Orlando Bloom is an elf. He's an elf. Yeah. But Kate Frodo, Blanchett's Frodo an elf. Frodo and those aren't elves. Yeah, that's a hobbit. That's a hobbit. But or the hobbits... Hobbit. I will say, hobbits piss me off. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because I just... It's inconceivable to me that anybody would go on such a journey and not go, should we put shoes on? Right. <laughs> you wouldn't do it. You just... Okay. Yeah. Phone, wallet, key. OK, where are we going? Find a ring. OK, great. Where was that? Well, they're upstairs. I'll just go without them. It's pointless. It makes... <laughs> it makes no...
sense. Yeah. <laughs> Up until that point, it, the movie Everything else is completely it believable. It very realistic. Yeah. 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 And we wanted to show you this. A German dog trainer recently set a new Guinness World Record when his team of 14 performing dogs formed a conga line. Have a look. <laughs> OK, it's very cute. You're right to awe it. Can you imagine being in that park when he's training his dogs to do that? <laughs> I wouldn't be able to grab my kids fast enough to get out of it. <laughs> now, this is true. The previous record holder for world's longest dog conga line was that man's own daughter. I mean, this household must be a non-stop party. <laughs> what kind of father do you think would go to this much trouble? to break his own daughter's world record. <laughs> I'm assuming her record was 13, and he's gone, right? I guess I'm going to buy a dog. <laughs> Ian, you have... How many cats do you have now? Two cats. Two cats. Yeah. yeah. Any yeah. chance of getting them to form a conga line? Yeah. The cats forming a conga line? Yeah. I, the only time I could maybe get the cats to work together on anything would be my own assassination. So yeah. I think... <laughs> Yeah. And finally, if you're in a long-distance relationship, listen up. Engineers in China have invented a kissing device that connects to your phone. It mimics the lip actions of your partner to make it feel like you're really kissing them. Here it is in action. <laughs> Yeah. It seems like a fun phone attachment until your boss calls you. <laughs> but it mimics the pressure, movement and temperature of your partner's mouth. You know, for kissing. <laughs> if you're interested... <laughs> if you're interested in the kissing device, it comes in two styles, regular and the Sam Elliott. <laughs> That's the news. When we come back, Dave Bautista and Jenny Slate are here. We've got a sketch for you. Don't go anywhere.